What's up, guys, and welcome back to Estate Agent Simulator. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, our main focus was really just on sort of expanding our new empire, and we made some pretty big improvements to our little real estate office over here. Don't mind the sign. The letters just kind of wig out sometimes, but it's looking very, very good over here. My end goal for today, though, ladies and gents, is I want to actually purchase a property today because apparently up until this point we've just been renting them to turn around and rent them again which i'll be honest seems counterproductive so that's the end goal for today hopefully we can actually get there but before we can even attempt to purchase an empty lot to then build a house on we of course need some more money so we're going to come down here to this first neighborhood and uh, just check in with all of our tenants you know make sure they're all paid up and whatnot Even though we only have three tenants at the moment, that put us up to $31,000, you guys. That's big, big money. But uh, I believe we have two vacant houses at the moment. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, almost got into a big fender bender. Uh, but I believe just down this street, we should have two empty, empty houses. So I just want to go through them really quick, make sure they're all clean and ready to go for the next tenants. See, it's dirty. And now it's clean. Look at that, dude. Okay, upwards of 1,600 buckaroonies for, uh, for a rental price on that one. But then we also have house number seven just over here. Afternoon, ma'am. Good to see you. Hello. This one is also dirty. 57% dirty. And this one, unlike the other, is furnished. So we should be getting some buku bucks from this one. Looking at a little over 3,800 smackaroonies per day for that property. Afternoon, Ossifer. Good to see you. Uh, so right across the street here, we have an empty lot for $18,900. So from what I understand, from what you guys have told me, we should be able to buy these lots and then build a house on it. That house is actually then ours. So unlike these other ones, we won't be renting to then just turn around and, and rent again. So I'm going to go ahead and just purchase this one. And we'll see what we can do next. Oh, my good lord. Dude, these are expensive. These are some expensive boys. The top tier one coming in at $122,000. And it looks like we have construction time here of three days. So it will take some time for these to actually be built. Oddly enough, the smallest and cheapest of the houses takes longer than the biggest most expensive we won't get into that that's totally fine 77 g's is what we need in order to build on our new lots we've got some work to do but at least these two properties are all cleaned up so come tomorrow uh, we can go check out our our real estate office area and see if we can get some new tenants in those as well a lot of you were suggesting that i maybe let our wife keep her money every day so let's just check in with her, Sophia, see how she's doing. How was your day? It was awesome. How was yours? I thought about you all day. That's cool, I guess. Uh, a thousand bucks in my wallet. I can, I can give it to you. Actually, there's no need. You keep it. So up in the top left, we do have this little, like, family icon. It's at 3% currently. So some of you guys were thinking maybe if we let her keep the money, that percentage would then go up. I don't believe that's the way it works. Otherwise, I feel like we'd be at at least 4% by now, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll figure out how to please our wife at a later date. I'm not super concerned about that right now. What we do need, though, is to get those two properties listed. One of them might actually already be listed. And then we definitely need some Gerber King French fries because we are very, very hungry. And let's get a Peepus and a Cola. There we be. That should hopefully hold us over for the rest of the day. There's 69%. Nice. Let's have the cola. And then we'll just hang on to the peepus. We've got a emergency peepus in the backpack at all times. I feel like that's probably just a, a good thing to have on us. Clean up a little bit of trash. Ma'am, I will be right with you, okay? I just have to get, uh, get two, maybe just one properties listed. Moments later. A Dyson? Yeah. Vacuum? No. A hair thing. 
They're normally $600. You're going to Cedar Rapids for a hair dryer? And there's Lululemon sweatshirts in here that I'm going to sell. Hey, you... Oh, my game is still rolling. I should probably at least pause it. You drive safe and, and be safe and stuff. I'm glad you're bringing KK, too. I love you. You're crazy, but I love you. Alrighty, took me a little longer than I expected. Oksana came in the office and told me she's going to Cedar Rapids to pick up a hair dryer or, or to purchase a hair dryer, which that's a pretty long drive. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. That is a pretty long drive for a hair dryer, but um, you know, ladies, am I right? Anyways, we have a $3,700 um, house here for, for Aria. She would like to rent from us for 20 days. And she's good on the price. Okay, sweet dude. 3,700 smackaroonies, ma'am. How we doing today? Looking a little a little chilly. Just being honest, looking a little chilly. I'm angry that I waited. I'm so sorry. Uh, what can I help you with? Five days? Uh, it's kind of short. It's kind of short. 2,900 bucks. She's thinking 24. You know what? I can, I, I can do that. I can do that. That's completely fair. It's a very, very short term, so I'm hoping I'm hoping all goes well there. I'm angry that I waited. Sir, I didn't even see you standing right behind me. So Timothy, I apologize. Ten days, thirty seven hundred bucks. Wow, okay, he's he's an angry elf. Good day to you, Timothy. Uh see you never. Then we have Ella here. She actually is one of the people that moved out of of one of our houses. One of the ones we, we just cleaned. 10 days at 1500 Can we make a deal at nine? Absolutely. What is wrong with these people? It's looking like we only have Jason and I think her name was Abigail, if I remember correctly. Hopefully that's accurate. It is. Perfect. She always pays the rent on time. But yeah, we only have two tenants now. So somebody, somebody must have just moved out of 24. I'm pretty sure we own that one as well. Uh, but let's head down here. We'll collect from Jason, and then we can go clean up clean up that other property. Jason, what's going on, brother? Uh, no fighting today, right? No fighting. He's learned his lesson. Sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes that is all it takes. Let's see how dirty this one is. Oh, I can already see it through the windows. There's trash everywhere. Wait, can I? Okay, I can just pick that up through there. That's good because we're locked out brother okay that's not good maybe maybe our tenant just moved out this morning and that's why it's currently locked but now that it's nighttime i would expect to be able to go inside and it's still not working so i guess we're just gonna go home and head to bed well, we got a we got an auction today definitely definitely be checking that out shall we spend a special night together my love i I don't feel ready. See, I'm trying here, you guys. I'm trying, but she just keeps shutting me down. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Looks like, thankfully, we do have quite a few more tenants today. So hopefully, that is some big, big money for us. I believe we should have four now in total. Let me make a quick pit stop here. We'll see if this guy is going to become our next new tenant. My apologies, Ryan. Six days, 1,500 smackaroonies. He's chill. Okay. Cool, man. I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, I'm pretty sure we had uh, agreed to take him in at one point, and he didn't even make his first payment, so hopefully that changes this time around. Now, though, let's head into the auction. We'll pay $100 for the entrance fee, and we'll see if we can't win big here again. The last time we did get two like little safes or, or storage containers, lock boxes that had a, a decent amount of money inside. So I'm just gonna leave my finger here on uh, on the T key, and anytime somebody bids, I'm just gonna immediately outbid them. I feel like that's the best way to to go about doing things here. Yep, 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 yep. 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 Okay, that one that one was really going up. We only have $4,500 now. But if we head back home, 
We should have, I think, I think I actually won all four of those. We should have four whole storage containers just waiting for us. Actually, you know what? Before we take a look inside, we can do, we can do that at nighttime. What we can't do at nighttime is collect rent from our tenants. So I'm actually going to go do that first and then we'll circle back. We can open, open those up. Alrighty, let's see what's inside container number one. It's actually pretty good. Okay, refrigerator, four chairs, a table, a lamp, a little, uh, a vase of some sort. Container number two, the exact same thing. Please don't tell me we have four of the exact same containers. Okay, this one is also different. We've got another little safe thing. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe a, maybe a radio or something. Four more chairs in here. This one's packed very, very well. I will say that. And a desk, too. I haven't even seen a desk in the store, I don't think. A washing machine? Dude, they don't even sell half this stuff in the store. What the heck? The plant I have seen. That might be a globe back there. Wow, okay. One of our houses is about to get very, very bougie. Complete with a, with a washing machine. Did I say dishwasher or washing machine? I said washing machine, right? I'm not crazy. Well, I just realized that we can't even really do anything with this furniture just yet because none of our houses are vacant. I believe they have to be vacant in order to place furniture in there, but we can get rid of that, uh, that safe there. I think I'll just leave everything else in the truck for right now. I might go grab one more thing and, and toss it in the bed. But then when Whenever one of our properties does become vacant, we've already got everything in the back of the truck, ready to rock, and uh, and we can get that property furnished. You know, maybe we have to try this whole I have something on my mind line at night, because we do keep saying, shall we spend a special night together? And we keep trying it in the morning, which might be the reason she's not in the mood. Nope. Turns out she just hates me. All right, I'm going to bed by myself then. I can confirm, just before we go pick up from our tenants, I can confirm that the auction is not open today as well. The notification is just stuck up on the screen. Everyone was very, very chill again today. They all paid up in full. Uh, but what I want to look at now is just how long we actually still have some of these houses. Time remaining until the end of the rent agreement. 11 days. Number of days left to deliver the house to its owner. So, time remaining until the end of the rent agreement. I believe that is our tenants, right? So, this person in number six, for example, has five days left. Whereas, we have 17 days of ownership temporary ownership um, on this property, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Hopefully it does. Uh, house number 24 is about to be vacant in three days' time. Okay, so we still we still have, I'm not going to say own, but have these properties for quite some time yet. 21 days, 22 days, 18, 17, 16. So 37 will be our first one to go. But I don't think we really have to worry about that at the moment. Really, we just have to kill some more time and just keep collecting rent from everyone. I mean, that's that's really all that we can do. I wanna have a look at our XP, but really quick, I just wanna see if my wife will love me today. It was fine, how was yours? Not bad, she says, not bad. I have something on my mind. Go on, tell me, I'm curious. Shall we spend a special, Denied. Denied again. Okay, let me open this up. I think I'm going to go ahead and unlock this for 120 XP. If we pet one of the many German Shepherds that are hanging out on the street corners, we should be able to uh, bring them back home with us, assuming we build them a nice little doghouse out in the front. Newspaper, might as well. And then we have 339 XP left. So for 300 XP, I'm gonna increase our luck to level three. A 20% luck increase. We haven't hit the casino just yet, but hopefully when we do now, we'll be a, a little bit luckier. Can we just go to bed at any time? No. Okay, it has to be at least 8 p.m. 
I believe. So let's hit up the casino. I'm not gonna blow all of my money, don't worry. We'll we'll try to like not dip below 25,000 bucks. Sound good? Our uncle's still just hanging outside his own establishment. But here we go. I definitely wanna play some table games. But let's start over here on the slot machine so we can see what this is all about. We just let her eat, huh? Wait, did we? We actually just made $1,000? Okay, let's keep this going, dude. And we've lost our winning streak already. Wait, it's only 50, 50 bucks? Is that what I'm seeing? 50 bucks a poll? That's not too bad, I guess. Could be worse. All right, we've got 25. I'm literally, I'm just doing this to kill time. Okay, that was good. That was good, another thousand. Triple cherries, baby, that's 2,500 bones. I think that's probably enough of the slot machines. You gotta, you gotta know when to quit, right? Quit while you're ahead. So let's check out the blackjack table over here. I'm gonna lay down, I'm gonna lay down a thousand dollar bet. A two, a twenty-five hundred dollar bet. All right, we'll see how we do here. Not good. That is not a good start. Hit me. Still not very good. I'm nervous to hit on a thirteen, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And I, I went over, and I went over. Okay, okay, okay. How about we throw down another? 2,500 bucks. This is how it starts, you guys. This is how it all begins. Hit on a six, that's a 16. Normally I wouldn't sand, but I will here. And we lost another 2,500 bucks. What if we laid down, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm, I'm sticking to my initial rule. I'm not letting it dip below uh, 25,000, okay? So we're just, we're gonna throw an 800 chip down. And hopefully we get lucky, and we are getting way luckier. I'm gonna stand at a 17. All right, um, well, the, the tables are rigged. Uh, the, the table games are definitely rigged. I'm gonna stick to the slot machine for sure, but let's head home and we'll head to bed. We've let her keep money now for several days in a row. So she's got $2,700 on her now. As we've learned, it doesn't seem to improve our, like, family value, we'll call it. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this, this time around. Because we did kind of lose a, a little bit of money. We were up good in the casino, and then we kind of lost quite a bit. But this morning, we get to go out and, and make our daily collection rounds. So we'll have more money in no time. Now that everyone's paid up for the day, I think we're ready to build this doghouse. We've already got some food laid down for him as well. Let's head back to the neighborhood and uh, and we'll see if we can finally pet that dog. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog now? Oh, there we go. So we gotta do it, we gotta do it a couple of times here to sort of gain gain this dog's trust. We have no food. We were giving it food? Hang on. Uh, it might like donuts. It might like donuts. Okay, it loves donuts. Look at that. Enter name. We're going with Woofer. We are going with Heckin Woofer. And this dog's actually gonna follow us around now. I really wanted the, I wanted the law dog, you know, just in case like Maybe, maybe he's picked up some knowledge from his former owner, the lawyer. We could just, we could just hire our own dog to be our lawyer. Wouldn't that be great? All right, bud, uh, you're gonna have to like, just follow the, follow the mini truck, okay? And don't get run over. Maybe stay out of the streets. Okay, he is running. I have to pay attention to where I'm going so I don't get in an accident. All right, we'll bring him back to the house. Here we are, Woofer. We've made it. We have made it. E to stop following. Did it work? Okay, it did work. Perfect. You've got this nice new dog. Stop it. Get some help.
Let's go see if, if my wife will love me now. Maybe. I, I brought home a dog. It was great. It was awesome. I, I, I brought home a dog for us. I have something on my, on my mind. Relax. You can share with me. I have very romantic plans. Let's go to our bedroom. I can't, dear. I have a headache. I'm starting to think that, that there's no possible way for her to ever love me. I, I, I just don't see it happening. Actually, it's about to be nighttime. Yeah, we can go to bed here in, in just a few minutes. Hang on, I gotta, gotta move the mini truck out of the road. Sorry, sorry. It's got a mind of its own. Our wife, unfortunately, only had about $240 for us. So I decided to just let her keep that, just hang on to that, maybe use it for some, for some shopping. What happened to the roof? It's looking mega, mega squooshed at the moment. I, I genuinely have no idea how that happened. I don't remember hitting it on anything, but let's go around and collect our, our money. No way, dude. Woofer, Woofer was just doing like circles around his doghouse, and then all of a sudden, he brings me this ball. But wait for it. Wait for it, okay? When he brings it back, watch what happens. Also, I need to eat here in a few minutes. We get a skill point every time he brings us the ball back, dude. That is that is really cool. That is really really cool. Okay, Woofer, I I think I'm, I think I'm good for right now. Oh, we also have a warning dog sign. The next morning. Okay, $56,000 now. And we did just recently have somebody else move out of this one again. So I'm going to go through, get it all cleaned up. This one is already furnished. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother with trying to put any of that stuff inside of here. I think we'll just probably save it for a house that doesn't have any furnishings. Back at the office, we're gonna get this one, house number 24, the one we just cleaned, relisted for sale. I'm gonna try 3,000 first. I think we had it listed for 29 before. 3,000 seems, seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and list it, and we'll wait around and see what happens. Afternoon, ma'am, how we doing today? Uh, price is 1,500 smackaroonies. You're thinking about it for nine days. Okay, this house is really cheap. I accept the offer. Perfect. Wait, which one did you, you, uh, ma'am? Which one did, which house did she just rent? I have one. I have, I have one available. And it's not for 1,500 bucks a day. I don't think we're going to see that lady ever again. I, I think that's just, yeah, it, it was kind of bugging out on us a little bit. Uh, I don't have time to wait. Can you hurry up? So sorry, ma'am. So sorry. Your time is very, very valuable to me. Uh, 3000 You're thinking 2500 Sorry. Can't do it. You, you look like a very sweet old lady. Just can't do it. Sorry. Abigail, so good to see you again. You're still renting that other house, right? Okay, but you want to rent a, a second one. Ten days, three thousand a day. Twenty-six. If you would have said twenty-eight, actually, I ha I haven't ever clicked on. I can do a little discount. Uh, price. Let's do eighteen hundred. If you would have said eighteen hundred, I would have said yes. Okay, sweet, and she's down. I didn't even know that that functionality existed. We could have been bargaining with people the entire time wait a minute our family icon is now at four percent it's now at four percent maybe it just takes a long time to to go up i still don't think a one percent increase is is going to get us any luckier with our wife so we're heading back to bed but a two percent increase might get us a little luckier she still has a headache okay well you know what i i tried I tried. That's that's all I can really do at this point. Hang on, I remember you. So it was this place? I, I wasn't even able to make a new ad for it or clean it out, but she was willing to do the 1500 so I guess that's okay. I, 
I think just one more day of collections and we'll have a house bought, okay? I haven't forgot. I know, we, we've got an empty lot now. We just have to fill it with a house. But in the meantime, we're gonna hit up the casino yet again. All right, I'm, I'm kind I'm kind of feeling lucky today, even though my uh, wife isn't gonna give me any love. Maybe this slot machine will. You never know. 25, okay, not off to a great start. I only ended up making a little over $3,000, I think, all in all on the slot machine, but hopefully, come tomorrow morning, our wife here will have some more money for us. A quick 1,400 smackaroonies from our wife, and it does look like we're calling it our family value. I don't really know what to call it. Up in the top left, though, we're at 6% now, so it's, it's getting better somehow. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but it is getting better. I also just found out the hard way uh, what happens when your fuel tank finally runs empty. You just drive a little slower. That's, that's really about it. So we're filling up, but back to the neighborhood to finish our collections. We've done it. We have finally done it. $77,000 is what it's gonna cost for us to build our first ever house. Construction time, four days. So this dude and those dudes over there, they just gotta, they just gotta get after it. How long before the construction is finished? I want to hire a new worker. Let's ask how long first. He just says, welcome. I wish it finished right away. Good luck. Okay, let's see what the other what the other thing is, I want to hire a new worker. You don't have enough money for that. Okay, well, good luck then. This doesn't really seem necessary for the construction of the house itself. Would you agree? Also, you can just buy pallets. You don't have to. You don't have to make them all on your own. But okay, it looks like it's going to be a really, really nice place, though. I'm excited to check it out when it's actually all all finished and ready to rock. But, tell you guys the truth, I do think that's probably where we're going to wind things down at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.